Hi, it's Mark here. Preparing for the assessment. Won't take long. Where's our wee look? Just some wee pointers just to help you. So the first thing that I would say is, within your preparation is, review your learning. Have a look back over things, refresh your memories. Make sure that your memory goes back to everything and it brings it to the fore and you've got it there. But don't worry too much. If you've done it, you know it, you understand it. Sometimes when you're coming towards an assessment or an examination, sometimes the nerves can get the better of you. Don't let it. Relax. You look over it, it will come back to you. Don't worry. The other thing as well is that you use a pre-assessment. Now, the pre-assessment should be a dry run of the assessment. I've got a wee video tutorial, some notes on that as well, how to use a pre-assessment correctly. Once you've done the pre-assessment and you know your stuff, you check your answers, you make sure you know everything, 100%, all the way through. You revise and make sure, and then you relax, because if you've done really well on your pre-assessment, then you should, you should be all right for the assessment. So why worry? You're going to be all right. You're going to do fine. So what you should be doing is thinking about being confident. So if you've done all your learning, you've done everything there, and you know it all, and you understand it, and you're sure about it, and you're feeling okay at it, and then you just get those nerves come into you. Don't let those nerves bother you. Put them to the side. I know it's easier said than done, but, but honestly, you've done everything. You know it. So when you come to the assessment or an examination, just think on it as just another exercise. And... Enjoy it even. Try to enjoy it. Get into your head that you're confident. You should be confident because you do know it. So you go in confident, relaxed, and it will get the best out of you. Just concentrate on the paper. Don't think about the end result. Just go and do your best. So enjoy the fruits of your labour. You've put the work in. You've worked really hard. It'll all come nicely for you. And then you just do your best. No one can ask for any more than that. So just do your best. And believe it or not, you could actually enjoy it because you will get there. And don't let any wee hiccups. If you come to a question you're not sure of, if you're able to within the assessment, depends on the assessment, but you can always go back to it. But the other thing as well is just do your best. Do your best. It's not the end of the world, remember. And if you get most things correct, then that's you. You're near enough there. Depends upon the marks. Depends upon the requirements of the assessment. But just do your best. That's all you can do. Relax. And if you put enough work in, you then become confident. Try and be confident and go for it. Aim to answer every question. Obviously, correctly. I've put that wee bit in there correctly, but don't put too much pressure on yourself, please. So relax and be confident. Honestly, you'll be fine. If you've put the work in, you should be fine. Remember, an assessment or an examination or anything like that, a test, it's just to gauge your learning. And if you know it and you've put enough work into it, and honestly, we all make wee mistakes, so we do. But what you do is, you check over and you make sure, and sometimes when you're relaxed and you're enjoying it, you think, I do know it. So if you put the hard work in beforehand, the pre-assessment should be a dry run, and if you're okay with the pre-assessment, you should be fine with the assessment. So here's the vote of confidence for you, okay? So go and get that assessment done. Do your assessment, examination, test, whatever you want to call it. Horrible words. But they are just gauging, gauging your knowledge. That's all that they are. So go ahead, relax and be confident and enjoy the fruits of, the, of your labour. You've done the work, show off.
trust me, you'll be fine. Good luck. Bye just now.